Hey guys, Sean Luxy here, back with our blind playthrough of Deus Ex. Alright. So last time we left off, we were... Uh, we're here. We came out from underwater. And presumably that was the other option for that, that elevator right there. There's that little drone walking around. We have a couple turrets. We have a couple cameras. Um, but we have to go east. There's an east gate that we need to get to. Apparently. Where did... Did I take out that guy? I think I did. Okay, well, let's... Hopefully the cameras don't see me. Hopefully the drone doesn't see me. Ah, uh, shit. Well. Oh, well, there's the turrets. Okay, so we got a key and a lockpick and ammo, I believe. So the lockpick is worth it. Cat hair all over the keyboard. Let's take a look at our keys. It was probably... Security tower key. Is that what that is? Is that different than... Uh... Security tower. Maybe that's not the elevator. Maybe the elevator showed up over there. Um, regardless, it might actually be worth going into that tower then. The question is what? Do I throw an EMP grenade and then run for it? or Oh, and there's another one over there. Another couple. It might be worth trying to get to the tower. Assuming maybe that I could shut down the... Uh, those... Um, Robots? Ooh. The yawning. That's terrible, I know. Okay, uh, let's see. Security tower. Yes. Alright, uh, my thought is... Let's just try the, the forward approach. Wait for that thing to go back that way, back to the left, and then just run. Scanning area. Because it takes a second. Like, they're going to see me. I could use an EMP grenade, maybe. Maybe that would work, but I think... Speed... It's locked. Oh. Well. Uh. Okay, see, I was right-clicking. I'm gonna reload that. Not because... Because I was right-clicking, like, to use... It's... I don't know why it's kind of awkward. For me, right-click is use. It... I mean, it makes sense. Okay, let's just run. Oh, oh, never mind, never mind. We're... Okay, so don't get seen. Don't get seen by the drone. That's bad. <laughs> I'm glad we're. I'm glad we're learning these things. See. See, left click is actually use the thing, which makes sense because it's your your bar can be full of full of stuff. Okay. All right, run. Yeah, you you basically have. Well, all right. Hello. Aha. Sniper rifle and binoculars. That would be handy. Okay, and uh, right-click puts it away. 
What is that? Is that something? I can't actually tell. And I don't know why the right click doesn't work when I'm facing out the window. Okay, so I did not get, I mean, I got seen, but I didn't get, I didn't get shot. All right. Right, left, no signal. And then we'll log out, we'll see. All right, we'll see what happens. I'm curious if they'll attack the drones. And then, with the camera being on, will it... Will it still, like, sound the alarm for me? I don't know if that makes sense. I wish I could see out there more. Is it shooting the... the thing? Yeah. Sounds like it. Okay, I think that got... I think that's the remains of the thing. Oh. So... So, yes. Well, there you go. So it looks like the cameras need to be on to for the turrets to work. Camera status off. Camera status off. Okay, well, that's, you know, that's all we could do. Not, you know, that, that was okay. cameras are off, the turrets are off by proxy. I see. That's got to be the elevator. Or... I mean, I hope it's not the east gate. It's certainly a gate. That looks like a ladder over there. And there's more of those guys over there. North. I mean, because that's the south part of this, right? So that, I would assume, would be the south gate, not the east gate. Am I wrong about this? Why is that container open? That's kind of weird, isn't it? I assume that's on purpose. So, just... Nice and easy, we're gonna kind of snoop around the side a little bit. Hmm. For some reason we have these little crates. Might be good to get up on there. But our goal, our goal is the airfield anyway, right? So it might... And I assume that's the airfield. So that might actually be the east gate. Just check in the time real fast. Um, I wonder if I could like get their attention somehow. And bring them back and turn the turrets back on. East Gate. So it's, that's the thing, I don't know how many enemies are there. I don't even know if that's the right way to go. Looks like, is that a third enemy? Behind the... Oh no, he's just really thick. Thick legs or whatever. I thought there was a second guy behind him, but apparently not. All right, well, let's try climbing this first. What does this do for us? What does getting up here accomplish? I 
Well, there's a crate. There's a crate over there. I don't know if I can jump across this. That would be a jump. Nope, see, south gate. Uh, secondary goals, gain access to the 747 hangar, locate the final barrel. Okay, so it's in the hangar. Locate the three missing barrels of Ambrosia. Kill the drug dealer. No, I'm not going to do that one. Locate the three missing barrels. I assume happens when we get the, the last barrel. Or locate the final barrel, because we've seen two. And then assassinate Juan Ivanovich Lebedev. So, where? Uh... Conversations? Let's see, one barrel left. Actually be on Libeto Dev Jet. Locate and kill him, sending you a map of the airfield. Let's check out this map. Boathouse. Oh, maybe the elevator over... Maybe I would show up over here? If I'd taken the elevator, whereas I came up over here normally. Airplane hangar. I'm like somewhere in this area. Military robot. There's probably more. This must be the south gate. Barracks. Could be in the barracks. Could be in the hangar. We will, uh, we will see, I suppose. So no need to go that way, at least... At least at the moment, right? I mean, because this is its own area. I don't think I need to go that way. Presumably. Well. I guess, uh... Okay, that worked. Hello, supplies. And what do we got? Multi-tool. I think there was one crate that I bashed open and I was like, there's nothing in it. And I think it was probably something under a piece of wood. So that's a little... Or maybe a lockpick that fell or something, you know? Okay, there's another military robot and that looks like the hangar doors. Is there a side entrance to the hangar? That's the question. And would I want to jump over on top of that thing? Okay, there's another crate. Which is good. Hopefully these dudes don't see me. I am... Oh, what is this over here? Windows, maybe? Hard to say. I, I would wager these dudes are going to see me running around. Well, okay. Well, that, uh, missed. That missed a little bit. And then I hurt my legs. Just small, you know, small rushes. Don't want to get heard. Or seen, but sound, sound seems more... It's also silly. Honestly, it's kind of silly going for the crates. Oh yeah, he's totally going to see me. Or hear me. Just hey, buddy! Oh uh, yeah. Well, since we screwed this up... Oh, crap. Okay, let's run around. What is this? What is this? Locked? Ah. Huh? Oh, but you can unlock it. So this is the east gate, I suppose? Wow, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. Screw it, we're just gonna do the run and... Run and see approach. I doubt I can get in here from this area. One of my legs is gone, or at least highly damaged. One of my arms is gone. Eh, you know... You know, there's another security tower. Good to know. There's the elevator that I probably would have... Oh, a couple security towers. So it's not... 
unique. What is over here? Are okay, that's all right. That's acceptable. So now we know where the east gate is. Or what the deal with it is. I don't I don't mind. I don't mind all those shenanigans. I feel I feel like that's the wrong button. I feel like now we have a better uh, idea what's going on. So the barracks because I didn't see an actual way into the hangar from the front. I didn't really see anything on the side here. But I don't know for certain. There was something that I was trying to go towards. It looked like some kind of electrical whatever. Which maybe there was a door to the hangar behind it. Or there could be something over here once you go through the gate. Hard to say. For now, we will go back up here. You know. And, uh, and go through there and get those... Get these things. Now, is it cheap of me to, you know... Uh, like, because I'm not... I am sort of save scumming, right? It's sort of against the... Alright, so what I'm thinking is get... Okay, that's not much of a drop, thankfully. It might be worth it to see if I could just... Like, do I have enough to dart them? Or I could just pull them back over here and see if maybe they... We'll see if we can hit one. I don't think we're going to be able to hit both. But, uh... These UNATCO guys are like machines. They don't know what they are. Can I hit this other guy from here? Uh-oh. Yes, maybe. I should have gone into the tower, to be honest, but, you know. It's possible they both just fell. I don't know how long that tranquilizer... How long it takes for that to kick in, but the music's not going. Okay, there's one. Where's number two? I don't see him. Did he get... Sh his own guy shot him? Is that what happened? By mistake? Well, that's not good. Security tower key... And a gas grenade? Is that what it said? Right, I need to use more of that stuff. I have all these goodies and I don't uh, really use them. So I don't know where this other dude is. Maybe he just ran off. And eventually... Oh, nope, that's him. And security tower key. What does that do as far as... Okay, so even if I get copies, it's just, you know, it's all the same. Alright, so that worked out. There's potentially... Yep, there's another one of those guys. These Unaco guys are like machines. I don't know what they are. I don't know either. kind of a weird it's kind of a weird deal okay watch he's probably gonna pop around the corner but the music's back to normal now so maybe he passed out and I don't think I don't think we're even going to be able to get in here. Like, it doesn't look like there's any control panel or anything. Okay, there he is. 
We gotta be a little careful because I remember... I thought I heard a robot or something. But, you know, also it seems like another security tower key. Where is... Okay, I heard it. I heard the robot. Where he did he drop his pistol? Because I'm not getting ammo from these guys. It seems like you have to get one of the keys as well, the East Gate key. Ooh. Okay, so that's presumably the back door to the barracks. Somehow you still have to find a way into the hangar. There's another security tower over there. And they probably all take the same key, I would imagine. Got to be careful because I don't know. Oh, there we go. Into the barracks and then into the hangar from there. So what do we have here? Looks like a front door. Yep. And we got windows on the side. Now how does this work? Oh crap. Okay, so don't... Maybe going in the front door would be the best. Said all clear. It looks like I need that one. Okay, yeah. You throw it down and it drops, or sets it down instead of, you know, throwing it. Looks like more windows along the side here. Yeah, I realize I can pick it up. This is going to be some weird, weird thing. Let's save right here. We'll save over the last one. This is some MacGyver stuff, kind of. I mean, you know, not really MacGyver because I'm not making a... Okay, so, yeah, this is interesting, right? Pick this up. How do I set it down, man? Can't drop that here. <sighs> set it down. Let's try that again. Yes, yeah, so you can't place it if you're, you know, selecting the metal crate. <gasps> Too heavy to lift. All right, F6, let's give this a go. Ah, and then I just turn it off and it sets it down, basically. Right on. Also, I think it's hilarious that they don't actually hear this thing, like, scraping around on the ground. They hear your footsteps. What's that? But they don't hear this giant metal crate being forcibly shoved around. There we go. A little more square. Okay, then... Can't drop it, so right. Yeah, it's annoying, because it's, it's... You sort of have to toss it.
dick. <laughs> okay. Really? How can I not... Am I not tall enough? What's going on? Ah, okay. When you're crouched, you don't jump. Wait, is there glass? That explains why it's dark. I'm like, I'm just gonna slip in there and there's probably gonna be dudes, it'll be dark. No, it was just the glass was... That's awesome. All right, yeah, move the house plant out of the way. We don't need that. Ah, you can pick the locks on these chests. Foot lockers. They probably have ammo, but... Just, you know, redecorating a little bit. So is it worth... What do you do with the pillows, anyway? Ah, another window right there. No, but we've seen that one before, that window, right? Like, that won't get us into the thing, I don't think. No, no. No, it won't. It's... It's next to us. It's next... Through that door. Don't walk. Or don't run, I should say. Walking might be fine. Unlocked. Ooh, hello, medkit. Let's see. Juan asked me for the hangar code, Decker, so it's 5914. Tell Young not to get his ass shot off. You know how I feel about him, and I will kill you if something happens. Take care, Aaron. Oh, so this was her bunk. Take care of what? Tell Young. Yeah. Alright, so do I... Do I unlock these other things? I do have 13 lockpicks. It might be worth it. The problem is, I don't know if... Will it... Will it be worth it? Like, what if they contain ammo and stuff? You know, I don't really need a whole lot of ammo at the moment. Nope, not that. See, like this. Oh, darts, uh, you know. Darts and cigarettes. Multi-tool, bioelectric cell. Wait, what? What? What the hell? Um... What set off the alarm? I'll, you know, I don't want them to kill me necessarily, but... Did I mess something up or did they just see me? These guys are so tough. What actually happened there? I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm really curious now what happened there. Was this... Is this one booby-trapped, or did they just see me, or... You know what I mean? Like, is there some sort of glitch? Like a seam in the... Fascist. What the hell, man? Care fascist. These Unatco guys got all the tricks. <gasps> 30 credits. Oh, come on! Wait, ah. I'm stuck on the bed now. What the hell is going on? chance opening that one triggers these weirdos I guess let's try this again what the hell dude whoa whoa hang on 30 credits says I get it well I guess if you're gonna this is locked Stay cool. The guy's still around. Oh, well, okay. That would explain why... These Unatco guys got that would explain the why you need them to open the door. Come on, dude. I swear I heard <sighs> All 
all right, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, like, okay, let's, um, oh no, we can use the, yeah, that's fine. We'll use a gas grenade. Two weeks training at a militia camp. I ain't ready for this. Two weeks is nothing. I mean, all things considered. Okay, we'll pick the lock. We'll throw a gas grenade at the door. That's it. This guy's a cop. Oh crap! He can't hide. Oh, am I gonna am I gonna pass out too? Well, I assume. <laughs> Now this is what I signed on for. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, no gas grenades. Not in an enclosed space. Got it. Okay, there, yeah, pepper cart. Oh, geez. All right, well. Really? What? What the hell, dude? Did that not work? Okay. Oh, come on! Really? I'm not close enough? Oh, I guess not. Son of a bitch, really? Is that- You son of a- These guys aren't so tough. I was like shooting the pepper spray at him and it's like, nope, nope, it passes through a doorway so it doesn't work or something. I don't, I don't know. This is silly. I feel this part right here is silly. Uh, but whatever, let's try again. That's him. He's a cop. Like, how do they know? Okay, well, I'll just waste one shot to... Come on, reload the pepper spray, dingus. Okay, hurry up and recharge your... Okay. There's more? What? What the hell is going on here? What? I'm like zapping him and he's like, no, 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 hang on. I'm in the middle of closing my door animation, so you can't, you can't do anything to me. It's like... Uh, it's a little bit jank. Okay, screw that. I'm gonna be a little cheapo here. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I feel like shit like that, it's like... Where it's a little glitchy. Okay, well, yep. Alright, well. Come on, pass out, dudes. Wait, what happened there? He broke the top? Where's... Where's the other dude? There's number three, right? There's a restroom? Looking good. Okay, where's dude number three? I know there's dude number three somewhere. There you are. How he didn't hear all that stuff? I don't know. I think we've got an intruder. Pig. 
We're busted. Is it the same dude? All right. Okay, he opened the door. That's interesting. So it's actually possible those there's still more of these dudes. Ooh, turret, which means there's probably a camera somewhere. I don't hear one though. More nano key. All right. Garbage. Do I have any free inventory space? No. No. But I can drop, um... Because, yes, I'm going to drink all that soda. Let's drop that for now. Thermoptic camo. Oop. You think you own all the soda. Health. What does my health look like? Uh, you know what? Let's heal the arm. There we go. Just in case. And what do we have over here? Ah, uh, soy food. Okay. <laughs> the answer is yes. Don't want to hit use by mistake. That would be that would be weird. Soy food. You know. Steal these dudes' Cheetos. Okay. Seasonal flooding minimal, APR London, United Kingdom. An article recently published in the Quarterly Journal of the Royal Meteorological Society indicates that worldwide flooding from melting ice caps will be significantly less this year than in previous years due to an unusually cold winter in the Northern Hemisphere. Dr. Tammy Bright, a professor of climatology at Oxford University, led the study and noted that global tides should rise by no more than one to two meters on average. That's bad. In most major cities throughout North America, Europe, Russia, and East Asia. For comparison, the high water mark in New York last year was four meters, requiring millions of credits and additional spending for a network of levees and pumps. While theories concerning the significant increase in days below freezing at either pole abound, the practical upshot is that the Arctic ice density has grown substantially when compared to any similar period in the last five years. Sounds like bullshit. Indeed. Okay, well, let's close this door. Those double doors. Huh. I wonder what bypassing it, the turret itself does for you. Huh. I was like, there's a little, like, why is this here? And then I noticed the brick and I'm like, hmm. Oh, -ho. hidden supply room, right on. Ammo, ammo, barracks dormitory. Well, I think we've, I think we're here already. Lock pick will take. What is this? Mini crossbow, I mean, I've got that already. Weapon modification scope and light anti-tank. Um, what do I do with the scope? Let's see. Telescopic, of course, scope attachment provides zoom capability and increased accuracy against distant targets. Um, the rocket, I guess. Why not? Well, that's cool. Oh, hey, can I take these darts? Yes, you can. Right on. That's awesome. Pinball machine. Drink all the water that we can. Why can't I drink from the faucets or the toilets? You know what I mean? And also, how many is this? That's about five, six. Does it give you 10 and that's what is that, eight? I don't know. Nine. Okay, so it's probably about ten. Anything else over here? Appears the answer is no. Alright, so... 
Let's go finish raiding the, um... Oh, and there's the code, of course. Which we already got. Let's grab more flares. Take the lamb. And, you know, it's fine. We'll pick the locks on these. Grab the darts, which we don't need. It's already unlocked. Yeah, man, the right and left click kind of screws me up from time to time. So this worked. This worked. Okay, so. We'll get over to the hangar. 5914. And then we will save. 5914. And then hopefully... Advancement bonus. We'll take it. Aha! We'll save here. And then we'll stop. Hanger. Yes. Alright guys, well that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Want to make sure there's no cats below me. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying these episodes. That's uh, texts from work telling me when I have to go in. We're sort of on a weird schedule now where it's like, uh, you know, they're trying to save money. So at least I'm getting some hours, but it's kind of like, it's like, come in today. Don't come in today. Come in now. Come in a few hours from now. That sort of thing. So that's, I mean, you know, at least I'm getting some hours. There's people that are unemployed and all that. So. Um, yeah, um, I'm doing like 10 hours a week, maybe it's, it's, uh, yeah, about a quarter of what I normally, well, about a quarter of a normal job, not a quarter of what I normally do. Um, what is your guys unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me, it's, um, I found this guy geezer gamer. He's like a really small YouTuber. Uh, but for some reason on BitChute, which I haven't been able to upload to for days, I just, just doesn't, it's too slow and it won't upload for some reason. Um, he has a, a wizardry playthrough on his BitChute channel, but not on his YouTube channel, um, which I thought was weird, but I watched, well, I had it playing while I was playing like some Monster Hunter stuff. So it was interesting to listen to. And he's got like a little map creator thing going on. So that's, you know, I'm kind of kind of looking at that and, you know, half paying attention. And and it's uh, from what I saw, it was decent. It's not, you know, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys are just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.